LDBC. This is your boy, Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. All right, folks. You know, the coach is sitting out here. I'm sitting back here at a track meet, and, you know, I got to be here for the majority of the day. So that's just the way that is. Thought I'd talk to y'all. And also, the coach is doing the Dr. Sabi 30 day challenge. I'm three days in, and, psh, man, you can't eat nothing except for his products and water for 30 days. So, yeah, me and my boy doing it. And my boy already told me he, he want to quit it. But you know how the coach roll. The coach going to do it all 30 days, and that's just the way that is. All right, guys. Let me go ahead and talk about, um, you know, some comments that Joanna Young Jacek said about Jessica Andrade. Um, basically, Joanna, she just came out and said, you know, well, Jessica said that she want to knock out Joanna. Like, what the hell is wrong with Joanna? Why can't she really understand that there are no friends? Because she was saying, oh, yeah, me and Jessica, you know, we were like friends and, you know, we were this, we were that. Jessica ain't your friend. Jessica never was your friend. Jessica was probably training with you, talking about, yeah, I want to knock this B out. I'm, I'm just trying to tell y'all. That's probably what Jessica and Drop was thinking, okay? And, you know, a lot of people who she think her friends that's training with her, they ain't your friend. They want to beat your ass and take your belt because they want to be the top dog. You you have no friends, Joanna. Newsflash, you have no friends. Nobody is your friend when it comes to this fight game. This is the hurt game. And unfortunately, it's women like Joanna, for some reason, they just don't get that this is the hurt game and ain't nobody trying to be your friend. You know, now, Dan, if you're in two different weight classes and there's no way on God's green earth that you'll ever fight, then okay. And then Joanna went on to say, well, you know what? Um, I'm not going to really try to get in Jessica's head. No, you're not going to try to because you can't. Because Jessica don't give a crap about that. Jessica don't care. The thing of it is, you know, women like Jessica, those Brazilian ladies, it's really hard to intimidate them. Like, it's, it's extremely hard. I mean, you're going to talk a lot of noise anyway, and Jessica can't even understand hardly everything you're saying anyway. So that's number one. Okay, number two, even if she could understand you, her whole her face, it don't change. Jessica is a poker player. Like, her face is straight. You ain't getting no reaction out of Jessica. And if you touch it, then, you know, in a street brawl, I'm talking about in a brawl in the street, yeah, man, Jessica touched that girl up. Now, an octagon is different. See, and I may have had to do a video one day. I'm talking to people about the difference between fighting in the octagon and fighting in the street, okay? Because fighting in the street is, is levels to this, okay? But, yeah, you know, Joanna, you, you're not going to intimidate this girl. You're not going to intimidate her. You can say what you want. You can get mad. But this is the hurt game. Don't none of these women who fight straw weight in the same weight class as you even I would venture to say if they fight at 125 pounds, they, they don't like you. They're only pretending that they do like you. I mean, you know, with all the fights that you, you've had, you, you would actually think that this girl would know that. I mean, and people are really picking Joanna to just go and blow right through Jessica and Drive. That's, people, I'm here to tell you, that's not going to happen. This is going to be a tough fight for Joanna and JJ. It, it, it's going to be tough. She ain't going to go in there and completely dominate. Like Jessica Andrade is a step up in competition. Just like, you know, you're fighting your Carolina Kovacavages. I mean, you're fighting your Carlos Sparzas. It, it's, it's not going down like that. You're not going to just punch Jessica Andrade a couple of times. And, yeah, we can go back to the Hill fight and say Hill staggered her. But Hill is a Muay Thai fighter. Hill is, is accurate. And Hill got a little bit of power. Hill can punch, okay? Jessica, um, I mean, Angela Hill can punch. She got hit flush by a striker. But she hung in there. She shook that off and came back. Joanna, I, I don't know. Joanna is a volume puncher. And she don't have, to me, in my opinion, one knockout punch power. Joanna don't have that. It's just not there. Joanna is an accumulation volume puncher, meaning that she's going to accumulate the punches. And over time, she's going to be able to stop you, but not put you to sleep. Okay, see, there's a difference. And Jessica's going to take them first. She's going to eat them first few punches. She's going to walk right through them. She's going to come in and try to grab them. Now, toward the later rounds, maybe the fourth and fifth round, Jessica won't be able to walk through those punches because Joanna would have laid hands on Jessica and dried enough for Jessica to be like, okay, I better stop running in here like I ain't got no sense. You know, folks, that's just how it is. That's just the way that is. But yeah, you know, Joanna need to get over her damn feelings and, you know, stop worrying so much about, you know, who her friend and what's her friend. This the hurt game. These people out here trying to kill you. And folks, I, I hate to put it like that, but that's what it is. Because actually, you know, I don't think a fighter would go into the octagon saying, I'm going to kill my opponent. I don't think they have that in their mentality. But, you know, the chances of a person dying is high in the octagon. It's high. 
folks, that's just the way that is. That's just the way that is. The chances of you getting your ass killed when you walk into the octagon is high. So what you mean? We used to be friends. Y'all not friends. You never been friends. Her team don't like you. They will never like you. They not. That's why I don't get some of these fighters, man. They taking pictures together. Hell no. You cra Are you serious? You think I'm finna sit here and take photographs with you? You think I'm finna be cool with you? I ain't finna be cool with you. Better stop worrying about this stuff and get ready for this fight, cause uh, it, it's gonna be it's gonna be a fight. This fight gonna go the distance. I, I can't. I, I don't know. Because I can't see Jessica sustaining an attack to knock out Joanna, and I can't see Joanna actually knocking out uh, Jessica. But I can see Joanna winning uh, a decision. I can see it. And you know, Jessica does have one punch knockout power. She does. And that's the thing. Okay, could Joanna get knocked out? It's, it's possible. I mean, you know, Carolina Kovacavich about damn near got the job done. She almost got a finish on Joanna. Okay? But I mean, see, that's that, you know, you're trying to hit a home run and you done struck out most of the game. It, it's the same mentality. So, I mean, folks, that's just how it is. So, you know, Joanna, you know, you can talk all the junk you want, but. The trash talking, it don't work for certain opponents. The trash talking don't work for Carolina Kovacavich. It didn't work. Carolina was not intimidated. In fact, Carolina really was trying to go up there and choke you to death. Okay? That don't work. It's not going to work for Jessica Andrade. The majority of these Brazilian fighters, it, the trash talking don't work like that because they have a different mentality. They have a different mentality. You know, people have been talking junk to them their whole life. People have been shit talking them their whole life. So, you know... What's somebody else? They grew up in the streets, people talking junk to them. So they they not worried about nobody trash talking them. They ain't worried about that. Jessica gonna look at that and be like, okay, I'ma still try to go in here and kill her. That folks, that's just how that is. That's just the way that is. I mean, you know, she better be thinking about what Jessica gonna do to her. She better be thinking about what could happen in this fight. What could happen, because I'ma tell you, I don't think she want them Carolina Cove Cavage problems. I, I just don't. I don't think she want that fight again. And Carolina, uh, man, that's going to be a good fight between her and Claudia Gahelia. The fight's going to be, it's going to, man, we're getting some good women's MMA bouts coming up, y'all. We're getting some phenomenal bouts. And I can't complain being a fan of the sport. I am getting the fights that I want to see. Boxing, we're slowly starting to catch up. And I've been reporting a little bit more on boxing because I'm starting to get fights that I want to see. But you know what? In, 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 in MMA, they're fighting three. They're fighting almost three times a year. I mean, Alexa Grazo, you know, one of my favorite fighters, she's back, okay? She's going to be back to fight. But, I mean, you know, it is what it is, guys. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. I'm done. What are you waiting on? Subscribe to the best women's MMA platform on YouTube.